Hello everyone, I am Naima Khan, a fourth year PhD student of uh, Information System Department in University of Maryland, Baltimore County. I have been supervised by Associate Professor Dr. Nirmala Roy of the same department. I have been working in a NSF funded project for a low cost thermal, uh, low cost continuous virtual uh, energy audit in cyber physical building envelope. As part of this project, I am working to develop automated building envelope monitoring techniques using machine, le machine learning. So I will start with a brief introduction of building envelope. Building envelopes are inside and outside surfaces of uh, the buildings. Thermal characteristics of uh, buildings envelope are important for many of the reasons. Um, due to damage on the uh, on the surface uh, um, there can be excessive energy consumption and also it can causes thermal discomfort to the users um, also the interior and exterior uh, surface designs are expensive um, um, and the, their repairing costs are also very high so pro improper management uh, can cause damp moisture energy wastage uh, structural deterioration over the time so previous research in building envelope can be um, um, uh, can be divided in uh, two main tracks. One measures the thermal transmittance, uh, which is the rate of heat transfer through building materials. Another track performs qualitative and quantitative thermal variance analysis. Qualitative analysis involves temperature difference analysis through visual inspection of the thermal images and or uh, different uh, thermal sensors. Quantitative analysis includes statistical methodolo methodologies for um, thermal variation detection. Um, so here, um, uh, here are some uh, problems um, related to existing methodologies. Uh, mostly the existing methodologies are performed in a controlled environment with expensive equipment. The cost of professional thermal inspection it starts from uh, $1,000 and increases upon the area of inspection and the number of places to be inspected. The image here, um, the first image here depicts the blower door test, uh, which uh, is done to uh, detect the leakage areas uh, inside the area. So, uh, um, so this process involves the um, involves sealing the inspected area to find out the leakage areas and also controls different uh, parameters, including pressure and temperature. Moreover, detailed inspection of, uh, uh, of different layers of building surfaces involves um, intrusive deployment of different uh, sensors um, um, inside uh, the surfaces like in the image shown uh, here. So my research tries to develop a uh, non-intrusive uh, monitoring framework which can uh, facilitate uh, the frequent inspection of um, the building area. Uh, so here I state, the, state my uh, research goal, uh, which is to develop a scalable automated framework to find the areas which are prone to damages over the inner surfaces of building. This will help um, the residents and the professionals to focus on the particular areas of thermal variation. So throughout our research, we faced some challenges. Um, like here, uh, the first and foremost uh, challenge was to uh, collect longitudinal data automatically, um, setting up the devices, um, location fixing, um, and also um, the handheld thermal cameras uh, contains charge only for, uh, for an hour. Uh, so that was another issue for uh, longitudinal data collection. Also, there are privacy issues for the residents um, uh, when we try to collect the thermal images for a long time. Previous um, researches involves intrusive equipment, so we need to try, uh, we need to find uh, some alternative way to uh, collect the data. And also, we don't have uh, the building metadata like uh, material information, and also the building uh, establishment year, um, establishment year, the age of the building. The main pro main challenge was to maintain the scalability of um, uh, of the inspection area. Previous researches were uh, confined to inspect one specific area. So um, if we need to increase the scalability of this uh, program, we need to um, think all uh, think in alternative way. 
uh, also there are contextual uh, interpretation we need to discuss through our model developed um, like the weather conditions and indoor activities um, uh, like cooking uh, which directly affects the surface area So here, uh, this is our uh, first work uh, where we try to find the leakage area through um, uh, the quantitative analysis of standalone thermal images. So here in this, um, in the first image, um, one uh, shows the thermal image and then um, the next one, uh, it shows the temperature extracted from the thermal images for each of the pixels in the image. And this is a visual uh, image of um, the area. So we used uh, three types of image segmentation and we applied um, uh, those image segmentation techniques into uh, temperature matrices of um, the thermal images. Then uh, we uh, represent the temperature um, uh, temperature from the thermal images in a time uh, using a time series representation, um, uh, which is a symbolic aggregated expression. Um, SAX, SAX. Um, then we um, computed the temperature uh, similarity among the segments and we identify the segments which does not have any similarity uh, with the other uh, segments. So here in the third uh, image we show the leakage areas. Um, um, so in the red um, boxes uh, mostly shows uh, the leakage areas in this image. So later we focused on um, the longitudinal data collection from inside built environment and for that we used temperature and humidity uh, sensors and we collected uh, from three residential, we collected data from uh, three residential homes um, using uh, these commonly used temperature and humidity sensors. Um, so here we uh, proposed um, a framework um, uh, which performs um, the temporal uh, deep temporal clustering using deep neural network so deep uh, temporal clustering model uh, here um, it uh, simultaneously optimizes the combined loss of reconstruction and uh, clustering um, so so for, from this model um, what we can achieve uh, the location and the time of the day for uh, temperature variation across inside building envelope. So temporal clustering um, assigns uh, some cluster uh, to the temperature and humidity data points uh, so that the cluster assignments remain coherent across successive time stem uh, segments by finding a set of change points and assigns um, the labels to them. So uh, this uh, picture shows some um, shows the experimental cluster analysis from three homes. So here we can see um, that different cluster shows different pattern of uh, temperature over 24 hours of a day. So for, for the first home, uh, we can see that for cluster three shows a very fluctuating temperature pattern over 24 hours time. And also it shows that um, for all of the places temperature are almost similar where uh, the other two homes show some differences among um, show some differences of temperature among uh, different uh, places um, later uh, we try to quantify the thermal response um, from uh, three different homes uh, for uh, for this purpose we used three types of ratio analysis and uh, here, uh, through this thermal response, we can um, uh, we can observe that uh, during the end of the day, the inside temperature change ge change gets higher than the outside temperature change, and inside temperature can exceed outside temperature. And also, how much time it can, uh, one um, uh, surface can take to um, uh, to change its temperature. Later, we uh, tried to find the effects of cooking activities uh, on building surface temperature. Um, we detected the cooking activities from temperature and humidity data. So here, uh, this block shows uh, the temperature um, rise for cooking activity for this sensor, uh, for this place, uh, channel 3. 
So here we are trying to um, extend this work um, uh, to find uh, the more precise location of thermal variation using um, uh, a longitudinal thermal image analysis. So uh, this work is in progress. Um, and that's all. Um, and thank you for listening to my uh, presentation.